welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here and you're into 3d printing photography and drones start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything filament review today we're reviewing the isan epla st it promises more durable prints than regular pla plus i've put it to the test i've done some prints let's roll the intro first and let's get back to it Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He runs an Instagram page, it's called 3D Print All. Those who already follow me know what I'm talking about. On his page, you will find a 3D printers review, filament review, application of uh, 3D printing to electronics. And it's a great place where you can go and boost your creativity. You can get new ideas for prints and stuff that you can make. It's a great repository for creators. Go pay Giuseppe a visit. All the links to his page will be down in the description. The unboxing experience is kind of premium you can see that the spool is rolled in a very very precise way you can distinguish all the different lines it comes with a silica gel and it's vacuumed uh, sealed it comes also with a leaflet with all the different materials of uh, Isan uh, all the different uh, filaments that Isan's has with all the specification so this filament is kind of uh, promising that it's really durable and uh, it has a different uh, uh, behavior than regular PLA. A regular PLA, when you when you cook it, it breaks. This EPLA ST doesn't, doesn't break, but like bends and it follows, as you can see from the Isan. I haven't tested this, but I guess it's like that because material is really, really strong. Talking about strong, I also printed this piece here. You can see it's this is used to drill a hole so that all the dust goes down and you can screw in a, a you know a plastic bottle to get all the dust inside so the dust doesn't fly away and you can tell it's a really really durable piece. So, this stuff PLA prints really really good. I want to make it all in a summary it prints better than any other pla plus i've tried and i've tested i've tested many pla plus many different colors and on all of them i had to do some tweaking to let it work perfectly this pla i put it in i found the sweet spot at 205 degrees it printed out like a regular pla and results are above expectation i mean it's a uh, it prints really really nice it prints even better than a regular pla and the results are, are are amazing i printed out this ring here together with this carabiner here and i tried to break it you can see it's all scratched i tried to break it or to bend it and it's 100 percent infill of course but i mean the st strength test for me it's it's passed because I, I mean i have no technical uh equipment to like you know test it and see if what isan says in their technical sheet is real but i'm testing it as a you know regular user that wants really durable durable prints and this is a great result for it i wanted to test other prints and i printed out this gizmo model let me see if you can see it i don't want it to be too bright as you can see it printed out amazingly all the details are there and i'm really happy with this print those who know me know that i love vase mode and i love printing in vase mode 
uh, over extruding at 0.8 even though the nozzle is 0.4 and I printed out this beautiful vase by Koa Fat Company he's a guy he lives in Russia all the links to his page are done in the description he's a great artist and really needs your support because the collection is coming out with are really really amazing uh, for the price he's selling them they're they're no brainer i mean it's something that you need to have and print for your house uh, to make it beautiful in colors i will probably do a video on all these vases because i've printed them all and different colors and different material and they look amazing keeping in vase mode I printed out this. This was just an experiment. This is a, you know, a missile from the USA. It's sold printed in base mode. It's empty inside and it turned out really, really amazingly. It's the results here are really above expectation. I wasn't expecting for a result like that. Also, I was printing it on a new printer, so I didn't know that printed very well but nonetheless they came out beautiful i did many prints with this filament but i'm showing you one of like you know the best ones to like make you realize how this printer how this filament performs as you can see here there's um it's a uh, baby yoda holding a pumpkin for halloween for my kids this printed out really really good i think i could have done the infill even less than what i've done i've done uh, i think 40 but i think 20 would have done the job it's nice and heavy and there's lots of material inside reading on their you know catalog and 3d printing material that isan has i saw that they also have uh, um est uh, silk PLA that I would love to try because usually silk PLA are really really brittle and I would like to test this you know this uh, this material in the future so Isan if you're watching this I would like to test that getting back to the filament I've uh, measured it in many different places during print and unspooling it and respooling it and the tolerance is amazing it's above any other uh, PLA that I've seen spooled until now and uh, you can tell it's uh, they put a good effort on uh, on this PLA and it's a great bargain I would suggest this filament for all of you who want very durable pieces you know mechanism pieces or even stuff that needs to serve a purpose and not need to stay there and as a tabletop but some something that useful as I showed you like a carabiner or something that it should go through usage and hands on it and you know pieces that need and will have a life that was all for today guys I really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe it's really important for me and for my channel smash the like button if you did like the video and i'll see you guys on the next video